Now space, the final frontier, and one the African nation have large, nations have largely left unexplored, but with the emergency of space agencies around the continent, some intrepid uh, space gazers are studying ways to boldly go where few Africans have gone before. In South Africa, viewers Anita Powell takes a look. This is the image many people associate with Africa. This is the new reality. This is Africa's largest Earth observation center at the South African National Space Agency. These satellite dishes monitor hundreds of privately owned satellites above Africa. Managing Director Raoul Hodges says a space agency is a valuable asset and that Africa has the means to go into space. But he says such a reality is years off and will take serious planning. If, if you combine uh, resources and you combine efforts uh, such as the Nigerian effort, such as the Egyptian uh, effort, the Algerian effort, uh, and the South African effort specifically, uh, where we have the infrastructure and prior to '94, when uh, we were able to um, integrate satellites, yes, the technical knowledge is there. Um, and, and, and the capabilities there. Is there funding? Yes, there's funding. You, there's some rich oil nations in, in Africa. Officials with the African Union say a Pan-African Space Agency can solve some of the continent's earthly problems. It's one of the most important cross-cutting issue that serves agriculture, serves communication, serves infrastructure, serves um, border program, also serves demography and movement of people, serves peace and security, conflict management, it goes into mineral resources for future development. The idea of a space program is to develop a program that can provide the real data on ground uh, in Africa, all over Africa, and provide it for the policymakers to be able to develop uh, future policies and plans and strategies that are based on information, knowledge-based strategies for the future. In South Africa, universities are also furthering space research. At this physics lab at the University of the Witwatersrand, graduate students are using a vacuum to test tiny micropropulsion systems that one day could be used to position smaller, less expensive satellites. It's a small step for researcher Jonathan Lunn, but he says his work could someday lead to great leaps in how normal people live their lives. I think moving forward, we're definitely going to be saying, you know, satellites are there to support you know, infrastructure that we rely on on a daily basis already today. So moving forward, we can actually benefit the economy by building satellites and studying space. Which brings us back to these lowly blessed box. Like many of us, they have little understanding of the complex calculations behind Africa's burgeoning space industry. But here on African soil, scientists are looking for ways to make our lives easier by looking to space. Anita Powell, VOA News, Johannesburg.